Well, vlog shy episode one. So, uh, as well as making the tunes, you know, I also love getting out and about, having a good mooch about. So, I thought, seeing as though the entire place is locked down, I'll show you a pretty crazy place in the backyard of the city where I live. It's uh, an abandoned theme park built in the mid 90s and it's just been left for the last 15, 20 years or so. And uh, yeah, nature's basically reclaiming it. As you can see, you got rabid dogs. <laughs> you got rabid dogs. You got the balloon cycle. You got to watch out for snakes as well. Loads of snakes about. Rabid dogs and snakes. It's just what you want for your weekend off. Balloon cycle. Right then, okay. Yeah, I don't really want rabies or a snake bite. You got the, uh, you got a couple of deadly breeds of viper out in Myanmar. I don't really want to be getting bitten by anything today if, uh, if I can help it. So I've just had to jump in here. It's all sealed off, you're not supposed to come in here, but um, geezer just gave me a nod. Because go on, get in, get in there. There's apparently still people living here. Squatters that never left when the place shut down. Here's an old, probably a KTV beer club and restaurant. And through there you can actually see the zoo, zoological gardens, which is right on the side of it. Some toy graffiti. Got a feeling that you're not a member of One United Power, mate. <laughs> Toys. So yeah, as you can see, the place is pretty much falling apart. I don't really want to go in anywhere where someone might actually be squatting. Because I wouldn't really appreciate someone coming in my yard with a camera. Going, you're right. Just thought I'd come and film you. <laughs> Bit of the old urbex, bit of the old urban exploring, I reckon. Here's your pirate ship. Here's your pirate ship. You tripped me out a little bit. 
thought that was actually a bloke. <laughs> See the roots, the roots just climbing up, taking it back with the crows and everything. It's a pretty, uh, it's a pretty eerie experience to be honest. You've got the crows going mad, you've got to watch out for snakes, you've got rabid dogs giving you a hard time getting on your case a lot of locals think this place is actually haunted um, I'd imagine shooting a music video or something would be pretty pretty good in here but uh, wouldn't really want to be around here at night it's got that it's got that edgy feel to it the old UFO cycle So yeah, it's pretty mad really, considering this is in the middle of the city, right next to the zoo. You would have thought that they'd have uh, pulled it down, gotten rid of everything and renovated. No one really knows the full story as to why it closed. This place is pretty mad. This was the first theme park in Myanmar, I think. Old Sega games. Golden Wave. Bear's phone, right, since 1956, okay, there's loads of water there, weird, all this just chucked in, left to rot. Final lap. It's not what you expect to see, is it? Exeter City, Pride of Devon. Right then. <laughs> it's a bit odd. Sega exhaust note. Proper old Sega games. Western land, what's what about? That would have taken you around the top there on a little circuit.
So yeah, pretty pretty mad really. Someone's someone's got up on that. <laughs> it's a runner. Plenty of butterflies around. So yeah, all in all, it's a pretty interesting place. You know, in the middle of a, in the former capital city, the biggest city in the country, seven million people where rents are pretty high and um, land is not cheap you would have thought that this would have been pulled down and uh, had something built on it but not yet there's another aggie dog a couple of aggie dogs up there yeah I've already had issues with dogs in this country on a few occasions so uh, I don't really fancy yet more jabs. The old rocket. I wanted to get up there and all, but I ain't brought any treats for the old dogs, have I? Because the view up there is supposed to be amazing, but I don't know about walking up that. There's no rail or out. Another hot day in Yangon. So yeah, anyway. As soon as everything opens up, I'm going to be getting back out there and uh, documenting some of these mad places I'm fortunate enough to come and check out. So yeah, studios be back open and all, so you know, music, travel, and open that 2021 is much better than this excuse for a year. But anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Peace out.